Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another session. I'm I am Leander from Centurions. My apologies for not being able to post my analysis in the recent past because I've been busy with for personal reasons. Anyhow, the reason I chose to post this chart today is because of yesterday's fall in Nifty. As clearly mentioned in the previous videos, as soon as Nifty broke the strong support line since the pre-COVID since the COVID fall. We said Nifty is expected to come down, which is precisely happening at this time. Now, I have marked three demand zones here, which would act as supports for Nifty. It would be important to see from where Nifty does take a bounce back from. The first demand zone being between 15,430 to 970. Second one being between 14,200 to 760. And third demand zone being between 12,100 to 500. These three in yellow, in blue, and in red have been marked here. Now, the first demand zone is because of this consolidation which happened here, which would act as a sort of a support, not a very strong one. The second one would be because of this consolidation which happened here in this vicinity, which also would have a stronger reason because of the, re the reason for which I will show you in the weekly chart. And this region here is the pre-COVID levels which would act as a much more stronger support zone which will be explained soon. Moving to the weekly chart of Nifty as you can see here I'm putting on my moving averages my 2100 and 200 weekly moving averages so as you can see here this demand zone there's a small consolidation which happened here so I'm expecting Nifty to come down to around 16,000 odd levels at least. Post that if this demand zone is broken, Nifty can take support in this vicinity which would coincide with the 100 week moving average and if at all Nifty does break this level then we can expect Nifty to come down to around this demand zone which would coincide with the 200 weekly moving average. So how do we play this? For me I'd be playing this in the short direction or the negative direction. My shorting levels for Nifty would be first outplayed around 2 to 3 lots. The first shorting level would be around this vicinity that's 16,870 to 900. My second shorting level would be around 17,200 to 250 odd levels. My third shorting level would be around 17,500 or 550 to 600 odd levels. My stop loss would be this vicinity of 17,800 or 850 on a daily closing basis. My first target would be around 16,000. Second target around 15,400 and my third target in this vicinity of around 14,700 or so where I'd, I'd start booking partial profits here and hold for my final target of 12,500. Now this might take a while for Nifty to come down here, so we'll keep on booking partial profits in this trade. I hope analysis of Nifty is clear here. Now coming to the important part is that most of our portfolios, if not everyone's, would be in deep red right now. What I would suggest is that you keep funds in hand. I've told all my members on my WhatsApp, my Telegram, Twitter accounts to keep funds in hand. At least 50% of your funds should be in your hand for your use as and when you please. My levels for buying Nifty are in this demand zone or buying stocks would be when Nifty approaches or enters these demand zones. That's when I'll be accumulating good stocks which are having good fundamentals, good profitability, good balance sheets. Basically, you're going to get those stocks at throwaway prices. Make the most of it and keep on accumulating because the faster the fall occurs, the faster will be the recovery as seen here in during the COVID fall. See this fall, it had a fall here and we had almost a V-shaped recovery which we saw. So don't worry about it as long as you're holding good stocks you are in a very good position to for, for midterm of about one year or so. It's Nifty should recover from there. Let's hope for the best. If at all you'd like me to 
check out a few stocks give you my analysis on a few stocks please post the stock names in the comment section you can also drop me a message via telegram or whatsapp i will add my details down in the comment section so i hope again you're going to use this opportunity to strengthen your portfolio and to earn very very decent profits in the near future that will be all from me for now stay safe and god bless